Because I'm awesome and always pay attention to random things on Discord sometimes when I'm really bored, I always come across things that are really interesting and I can generally compile multiple things together. And this is another one such case where someone had posted about NVIDIA doing like sketchy things. So for quite a while, NVIDIA's had their like their Linux drivers and they over the years have been not as good as AMD's drivers. And AMD went open source recently and recently NVIDIA went open source as well. But there's been a lot of controversy with NVIDIA and the Linux kernel itself between that going on since about 2020. So this is a Phronix article that, what, someone had posted an article that referenced this Phronix article and yeah, this Phronix article doesn't exactly reference anyone else other than actual source material, it looks like, where these discussions happen. So this is basically NVIDIA talking about talking about nvidia implementing like different guards to protect their proprietary drivers and the kernel developers kind of like pushing back with um their shenanigans of trying to import like certain nvidia things into the kernel and also taking an advantage of gpl only portions of the kernel in order to make it work better, apparently, even though it's got worse performance somewhat than AMD. So Linux kernel developers are working... So this is back in August of 2020. Linux kernel developers are working on tightening up the access around GPL-only kernel symbols and kernel shims that interface with proprietary kernel modules. Latest work is being driven by code recently put out for improving Linux networking code or NVIDIA's proprietary kernel would be init the initial consumer. A large consumer, very proprietary, but we only want GPL portions to access this, and so you have to be, be able to open up all these things to the video card so the kernel can look at it and not just keep it behind your little like proprietary wall, in essence. Sent out last month by Facebook's Jonathan Lemon was some interesting work on DMA zero copy support between network adapters and the GPU for the data path with protocol processing is still handled on the host CPU. The host CPU would also support zero copy send receive infrastructure work itself is quite interesting, but where it becomes more heated is this patch added a net GPU NVIDIA driver to support this network GPU path. So NVIDIA basically sent up a patch to make it so that their driver support would work better in this network GPU path. And this provides the interface between the NetGPU core module and the NVIDIA kernel driver. This would be should be built as an external module pointing to the NVIDIA build. So like do it in your own thing, not in ours. That patch driver is useless without the NVIDIA kernel driver, albeit all of this network to GPU zero copy infrastructure work is being done for the NVIDIA use case. So this is NVIDIA putting in a thing into the kernel that would only be used for their like use case. And I mean, they point out here that other drivers, vendors could implement similar functionality, but NVIDIA is thinking about themselves and trying to input it into the kernel so that their proprietary stuff can work with it rather than like trying to open up their stuff to work well with the kernel itself. They're trying to shim their way into it and not have to show anything at this point in time. Among other comments, a shim NVIDIA driver patch led high-level Linux kernel developer and stable maintainer Greg Crowell Hartman to comment, okay, now you're just trolling us. Nice job. I shouldn't have read the previous patches. Please go get a lawyer to sign off on this patch with their corporate email address on it. That's the only way we could possibly consider something like this. Oh, and we need you to use your corporate email address too as you're not putting copyright notices on this code. We will need to know who to come after in the future. Lemon commented in response that he will look at seeing whether there are some AMD or Intel GPUs he could use with their in-kernel tree drivers as client besides the NVIDIA proprietary driver. Other infighting came with a discussion as well. Longtime kernel developer Christopher Helwig commented on the discussion. Seriously, if you only even considered this, if only you even considered this as something reasonable to do, you shouldn't be anywhere near 
Linux kernel development just go away. So a lot of people recommend using DKMS, which would basically inst compile the modules so that they're separate next to the kernel in essence on the fly when you're setting up all the, oh, a new update to the kernel and what all. Following that, Helwig proposed a new set of patches for tightening up access to kernel symbols exported as GPL only. Such as the case for these different shim drivers that sit between the open kernel code and proprietary kernel modules like the NVIDIA driver. He explained, we've had a bug in our resolution of GPL modules since day one. That is, module can claim to be GPL licensed and use GPL exports, while it also depends on symbols for non-GPL modules. This is used as a circumvention of the GPL exports by using a small shim module using the GPL exports and the other functionality, or as it's also referred to, the GPL condom defense. As for the experimental work on DMA0 copy between Nix and GPUs, the upstream discussions appear blocked until it's working, blah, 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 blah. So at this point in time, it's like either open source drivers, GPL your drivers, or go away. Because what they're doing is they're creating a in essence, driver to go around the driver that's their proprietary one. So then we get another one about a week and a half later, stemming from the recent discussion over NVIDIA Net GPU code that relied on another shim for interfacing between NVIDIA's proprietary driver and the open source kernel code. A new patch is on the way for 5.9 to fight back against such efforts. So this is where they actually implement like that anti GPL condom. Oh code and any such shims from then on out. As a result of that NetGP, net GPU code patch series, an ensuing discussion, longtime kernel developer Christopher Helwig followed through with a set of kernel patches to tighten up access to kernel symbols exported as GPL only and are frequently used by these open source shim drivers to sit between the open source kernel code and the binary kernel modules. This situation, also known as GPL condom defense, is working to be better avoided with Linux 5.9 on up kernels. Summary of the change amounts to how have modules that use symbols from proprietary modules inherit the taint proprietary module taint in an effort to prevent GPL shim modules that are used to circumvent GPL exports. These are modules that claim to be GPL licensed while also using symbols from proprietary modules. Such modules will be rejected while non-GPL modules will inherit the proprietary taint. So they're tainting the modules and basically making it so, no, you're asking for this thing, you don't get it because you're not truly, don't truly fit the criterion. And then recently in August, at the end of August, when I'm, well, kind of two weeks ago when I'm recording it, this video thereabouts, 6.6 .6, um, prevents more of this illicit behavior. Mo the 6.6 .6 modules infrastructure is changing to better protect against illicit behavior of NVIDIA's proprietary kernel. So they're like the one driver, like one manufacturer that is trying to get around all this. And AMD is basically, for a good portion of it, embraced the open source drivers portion of it so you can get that gpl interface going on so luis chamberlain sent out the modules changes today for the linux 6.6 .6 merge window most notable with modules updated is change that better builds up the defenses against nvidia's proprietary kernel driver from using gpl only symbols or in other words bits that only true open source drivers should be utilizing and not proprietary kernels like nvidia's default linux kernel and respecting the original kernel code author's intent a change made back in 2020 to the kernel module code inherit it's the taint proprietary module and better protects against proprietary modules using GPL only symbols following a GPL NVIDIA GPL condom incident. When it, well, NVIDIA Linux engineers have since worked around that to be able to use GPL only signals within their binary blob. As a result, we have new defenses being put in place for the kernel. So again, it's NVIDIA doing NVIDIA things, trying to get around things, and then, um, further on coming down like no you can't do that you either abide by the rules and change your kernel your drivers so that it doesn't require that or you can go blow 
it has recently come to my attention that NVIDIA is circumventing the protection added in this commit modules inherit taint property module by importing exports from their proprietary modules into an allegedly GPL licensed module and then re-exporting them. So it's basically a translation of the instructions from one set to another to get what they want. They have to like go through a layer in order to get it to work. Given that symbol get was only ever intended for tightly cooperating modules using very internal symbols, it is logical to restrict it to being used on Xbori symbol export symbol GPL and prevent NVIDIA from costly DMCA circumvention of access control lawsuits. All symbols except for four used through symbol get were already exported as export symbol GPL, and the remaining four ones were switched over in the preparation patches. So base this this really um this part here, I think the Linux Foundation does have the backing to be able to like make this threat because of the donors that they have. Let's see, let's go to and look for Linux Foundation. Oh, can I not spell? Um, I have to use this right now because I broke my circs instance, but anyway. Okay, so if we look at, let's see, do, 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 Huawei, Intel, members. Funny that Microsoft is in there. Oracle, Google, let's see. These are all, let's see, yeah, silver members. Do, 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 a supporting member of the Linux Foundation. I mean, this change to only allow symbol get of export symbol GPL modules will now be in place with Linux 6.6. .6. Louis Chamberlain further added in today's pull request. Christopher Hellwig's symbol get fix to NVIDIA's efforts to circumvent protection he put in place in the year 2020 to prevent proprietary modules from using GPL only symbols and also ensuring proprietary modules such which export symbols grandfather their taint. That was done through year 2020 commit. It inherit taint pri proprietary module. Christopher's new fix is done by clarifying symbol get was only ever intended to prevent module reference loops by Linux kernel modules and so making it only find symbols exported by export symbol GPL. Circumvention tactic used by NVIDIA was to use symbol get to purposely swift through proprietary module symbols and completely bypass our traditional export symbol annotations and community agreed upon restrictions. Back in 2020, when the original defense was added, NVIDIA recommended avoiding the Linux 5.9 for the time being. They ended up having a supported driver several weeks later. It'll be interesting to see this time how long Linux 6.6 .6 thwarts their kernel driver. At least NVIDIA is now maintaining their GPU their open GPU kernel driver options since last year as an alternative to their proprietary kernel driver. So yeah, they, as of now, they have their open kernel driver, their open source driver. So it's may not be as performant as the proprietary one, but it'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the shenanigans or if they will have to go full on with the open GPU kernel driver, which it may be the case. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description, Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.